I wanted to come back, make another video, and show you a little bit more about the Nature's Blossoms starter kits. So, Nature's Blossoms Sew and Grow starter kits. This one is the microgreens. So it's got arugula, chard, basil, and beets. And you're going to pick them before they get to be, so microgreens. They're the small veggies that can be like leaves in a salad. Um, you could let them go to full seed and, um, you know, they would get really big. So, you have some options here with these guys. I did my earlier video on the tomato kit and same deal, it came with some varieties. So it came with four different types of tomatoes. Regular red tomatoes, um, dark cherry tomatoes, greens, and some yellow pear tomatoes. So, um, to be truthful, these guys, I'm going to hold off on starting because it is late fall here and um, I'm going to start these midwinter so that they really get growing and they get big in the upstairs south facing windows before, um, before spring starts so that we could actually get a full grow season in if they were already started um, before they moved outside. I live in central Oregon and we definitely get some weather extremes, so um, our grow season is short, maybe a hundred days, maybe. Um, good chance of closer to 75. If you want to start stuff from seeds, you have to start it indoors or in a greenhouse, just the way it is around here. Um, so back to the microgreens, because these guys can easily be grown in a window garden and um, so I'm starting these now and we're going to have some fall salad. So let's take a look. So I already started the kits upstairs and we'll cut to the video in a little bit. But it came with compost compostable cups. So this is biodegradable. And you know what my thought is is that you could probably cut down the sides or just pop out the bottom. And then you'd be able to plant this right into the dirt outside if you decide to move your garden outside. If you're going to keep it indoors, no worries. I think microgreens will grow great into this little container. Um, it's a compressed paper product, so it will break down over time, um, but it helps keep some moisture into your dirt. So I definitely feel like in the last um, eight days since I started this that I have not had to worry about water very much. Just put a little teeny bit in if the surface feels dry, but um, it hasn't been very much water at all. The dirt and it came as these little hockey pucks and you just add water to these guys and they're gonna grow and it'll turn into regular really nice dark rich looking soil um, the one thing I did notice is when it said the instructions said to add one to two liters of hot water yeah one liter was enough to expand three discs so do not go pouring all that water in on your single hockey puck or you will have one really soggy, muddy, soupy mess. So, Okay, let's switch gears and check out the start on my little garden. So these guys are on day eight of growing. They've been hanging out in a sunny south facing window and I followed the instructions as far as how deep to put the seeds and then each one had a recommendation so either cover with plastic or with a moist paper towel to help keep the moisture in as they start to grow and you can see here that those beets have gotten really tall in the last several days um, so they're doing really good I like these compostable cups, uh, biodegradable cups. They help maintain some of the moisture, so I add a teeny bit of water when that surface is feeling dry, but um, for the most part, they've been holding that moisture really well. See there, the basil's kind of small still, but that's all right, and those chard are kind of going sideways. So I did not plant the arugula yet, and on these three, I only planted half of the seeds. And part of that was just that desire to make sure round one worked. If round one works good, then I'm going to start round two. So 
I am off to a good start. All right, so I did get a discount on these kits and in exchange for making this video, but um, I hope that you go on to Amazon and check them out. Besides for the tomatoes and the microgreens, they also had some really fun ones. They had some exotic vegetables. The image on that is purple carrots, which the first time I realized carrots didn't have to be orange, I was already in my 20s and I probably should have known better, but you know, you only see orange carrots at the grocery store. So as soon as I realized that carrots could be white or red or yellow or purple, just mind blown. Um, that same year, somebody let me pick the seeds for the family garden and he just handed me a giant catalog and I got to pick 10 different tomato varieties. So, I mean, tomatoes come in red, deep red, purple, yellow, orange. They come in different sizes all the way from a cherry tomato up to a beefcake tomato. And some of them have really organized lines inside and some of them just look like a brain inside. So, super crazy the variety. Um, same thing with the microgreens again. So Swiss chard. Swiss chard has a white portion of the stem. Chard also comes in rainbow. It comes in yellow, orange, red stems with these big green leafy deals. You know, there is, there is no need to be eating iceberg lettuce all the time. There are so many other greens out there that are edible that grow easily right in your backyard, there's a good chance there are some out there right now and you don't even know it. So um, I hope that you start playing with food a little bit and figuring out what's out there and what you can eat and get some variety in your diet. So good luck. I hope that you pick up a grow kit or start exploring the variety of food that is available to us. All right. Thanks, gang.